How much were glazed? They're free. I'm Rebecca. I know. Say, where can I go get freshen up around here? I can show you. Thanks. This way. I don't think I caught your name. Eileen. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from New York originally. All right, see you around. Do you need any help? No, I'm OK. Bedtime reading? I was just doing some filing. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I don't usually smoke. It's a nasty habit. That's why I like it. You're so petite. Have you noticed, or am I imagining things, that men these days are getting shorter and shorter, bolder and fatter? All the men around here are little boys. You're funny. You might see me sometime, all right? Help you. You forgot your notebook. Oh, thank you so much. I um, hope you didn't read it. No, of course not. Mm -hmm. Wait, Aileen? Can I take you to a drink tonight? Okay. Okay? So, uh, who makes the best martini in town? Maybe O'Hara's. Oh, see you at seven? Is that the expression for you? Hi. Oh, Aileen. <laughs> um, what are you having? I have a beer, I guess. Um, one beer, please, and, and maybe a little whiskey to warm up my girl, let's say, huh? No, you look very glamorous. I thought I'd have a hard time finding this place, but here it is. <laughs> you feeling all right? Uh, there's something wrong in my car, so I have to drive with the windows down. Can't you get your husband to fix that for you? Oh, no, I'm not married. I've always been single. And when I do have a guy around, it's just for fun. And it's brief. Sort of my modus vivendi. Do you like dancing, Rebecca? With you? Yeah. I knew I loved you before I met you. I think I dreamed you into life. I knew I loved you before I met you. girl in a Dutch painting. You have a strange face. It's plain, but fascinating. It has a beautiful turbulence. I love it. I bet you have brilliant dreams. Maybe you'll dream of me and my morning remorse, which is... Look, I was just thinking of you and, well, I, I don't know what you're planning for Christmas Eve, but I thought maybe you'd like to come over. Unless you have a better offer, of course. I don't have a better offer. So you'll come? Yeah. See you later. Bye. I wish someone would have told me that this life is ours to choose. And then you the keys or a book with all the rules. Merry Christmas. Oh. Come in. Hi, um, I hope it's the kind you like. Oh, I'm sure it's delicious. Drink sounds nice, actually. Oh, to Eileen, my Christmas savior. Savior? No, you're being a friend, that's everything. Cheers. You live here alone? <clears throat> I like my own space, I still like to have fun, and uh, maybe we'll, uh, we'll feel better if we eat something. I feel fine. Can I use the bathroom? Sure. Hell, by now, I live a little differently than most people. Oh, your house is nice and it's cozy. May I confide in you? Of course. Do you want to know? Eileen, you can never tell anyone. Do you understand? You understand? Promise me. Promise. The first thing you need to know, this isn't my house. This is the Polk house. I have Mrs. Polk tied up downstairs. 
please wait. I mean, please. I thought you invited me over here because you liked me. I do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please just let me explain. I need, I need a friend. She attacked me. See, see. So I defended myself. We fought. And I... Why do you have that? Why did you bring that around here? Pick it up and show me how you can hold it. That's very good, Eileen. That's all I know so far.